Hey guys, what's up? My name is John G 5 and I like playing the objective in Black Ops. So what I have here is a Havana demolition with a full party, of course, because I hate playing like B Black Ops or any COD really without a full party. I mean, if you're gonna play a game with an objective, you want to have a full party because without a full party, there's not that guaranteed win. And with a full party, I can tell you that you are probably going to win if you use callouts and you are constantly telling your teammates, hey, look, this guy's over here, I just died over there, or hey, I'm planting the bomb at A, come cover me. You're going to get that bomb planted. You're going to get that kill. You're going to get that guy who's trying to guard the bomb or trying to plant the bomb. He's not going to be there anymore if you have a full party, and that's how I like playing, you know? So, anyway, I'm on Project Envy right now, and... That's pretty cool. So I just want to thank Project Envy for letting me be on here and letting me uh, just share my content with you guys, the viewers. So yeah. In this game, I'm using the Commando with s Dual Mag, and I got Flak Jacket, Sleight of Hand Pro, and Hacker on with a motion sensor as my equipment, frag grenades, and concussion grenades. Now, a lot of people do not use Flak Jacket, and I used to be one of them, but when it comes to like effective perks that like help you stay alive flak jacket is definitely one of them like most of the first tier perks are like kind of offensive perks i mean yeah ghost is defensive but it can also be offensive too if you're trying to like flank around or anything like that but flak jacket i think is strictly defensive i mean it you get a nade near you and that nade's not going to do much unless it's like directly under you and uh, I hate RC cars like RC cars should be completely defenseless against or completely yeah no let me let me rephrase that RC cars should have no effect against flak jacket I hate having flak jacket on and then an RC car gets me and I'm just like no I had flak jacket on that RC car shouldn't do that to me yeah <laughs> So, yeah, the only bad part about Flak Jacket is getting those toss-back grenades because most people don't uh, just throw their nades. Like their fr and it has to be frag grenades, too. Most people don't just throw their frag grenades. They usually cook them, and by the time they land near you, you can't really throw them. So, eh, it's kind of tough to get that. And the fire resistance of Flak Jacket Pro would definitely come in handy when the un enemy team, team is... Uh, Throwing down a napalm or anything, uh, fire e like, yeah. <laughs> so we, uh, finished that round off very easily. And, um, look at that guy with the tiger camo and a spaz. Oh, the spaz with the silencer? The silencer has no effect on it, so you might want to try that out if you'd like. But actually, no. I hate getting killed by the spaz, so don't try that out. <laughs> the spaz really doesn't have much of a use. Um, not many shotguns do. They're more mess around classes, I, I feel. But hey, if you're having fun using the spaz or any shotgun, hey, go for it. Because video games, you're supposed to have fun you doing or playing them. <laughs> you're supposed to have fun playing video games. So if you're having fun running around with a shotgun, by all means, do it. So I, I'm planting an A here, I believe. Yes. Saboteur! I need to know what saboteur means. I, I believe it's French. I don't know what it means. I just know it pops up when I'm playing bomb. So, yeah. Um, I switch classes this round, I think. Did I? Yeah, typically when I'm on defense, I have an assault rifle class set up. And when I'm on uh, offense, I tend to put on a rush class just to get to those bomb sites quickly. Yeah, that's what I'm using. The MP5K with a red dot, well, blue dot. I prefer the blue dot. Just I feel like it sticks out more on my screen and just helps me lock on and take down enemies. So, there we go. We got A destroyed and now we are pushing for B, which is definitely a hard bomb to get on this map, but luckily you get them trapped in their spawn, and I'm just picking them out on this dumpster here, which is a great place to defend B. But of course, there are its downsides where you can get planked, and you can not see people around that corner, around that wall there. Unfortunately, they defuse, but we are getting right back on it. I'm throwing smokes down. 
and I go for the plant. Sorry if this is a little bit laggy. My Vegas likes to um not listen to me. No, <laughs> it likes to lag a lot, and I can't see the video to its full uh, HD quality and vividness. Vividness. <laughs> That's a funny word. All right, so I throw the motion sensor down, jump out of that window, and I'm trying to watch this bomb here. And I pick off some guys. Call my UAV. Oh, yeah. That's another thing I wanted to say. When I play objective, I, like, religiously run low kill streaks. There is, like, I guess there's sometimes you need that slayer on your team who's running the high kill streaks and getting the air support off. But if you're, like, strictly going for the objective and not playing as a slayer role, you definitely want to uh, run low kill streaks and not, uh,. <laughs> UAV counter you oh spy plane counter spy plane are the way to go and we finish off that game I go 13 and 6 and that is not a good to KD really to my standards when I'm going for KD but got two plants the only two plants and that's how I play black ops guys John McG5 signing out thanks project envy